All right, so now we are here on the Qcoin app on our phone. And the first thing we're going to do is set up our Qcoin account so that we get that 20% fee discount whenever we trade on Qcoin. So when we go here on the top left and then click on login, then we can see that there is no field where we can enter a referral code. So what we have to do is actually switch to our browser and then go to qcoin.com and sign up on our browser. So once you're here, simply click on the menu on the top left and then click on sign up. And then as we can see here, now we can actually enter our referral code right here and then we get that 20% fee discount when we sign up right here. You can also click on buy email here on the bottom and then you can use your email to sign up or if you want to, you can also use your phone number. Then once you've set up your account, we can go back to our Qcoin app and then we can log in right here using our newly created account. All right, so now we are back in the Qcoin app logged into our new Qcoin account. So let me give you a quick overview of how to navigate through this app because in the beginning it might look a bit overwhelming but once time goes on and you have played around with it a bit it gets a lot easier. So right now we are on the home page which is what you're going to see when you log into your account and then on the top you can see a search bar where you can search for specific trading pairs. For example we can type in BTC and then click on the trading pair BTC USD and then we get directly to the price charge of this trading pair and we can also go to the trading tab when we click on buy and we can place trades right here. However, let's go back to the home screen and then on the top you can also use a QR code scanner to send coins to another wallet using a QR code and then you also have uh, the notifications where you can see what's new with your account. Then on the top of the home page there's also promotions that are currently going on with Qcoin that they want to inform you about. And then here in the middle you can see some popular trading pairs and how the prices have been the last 24 hours, if they have uh, been gaining in value or losing in value. Then here on this tab is where you can buy cryptocurrency directly on Qcoin which is what we're going to take a look at later. And then there's a lot of quick links. So this is and the most uh, popular quick links here of Qcoin and when you click on more right here you can see a lot more and you can also um, customize these quick links for yourself so whenever you use a specific feature a lot you can click on edit and then you can put them on your home page and then when we scroll further down on the home page we can see the top gainers and also the top losers of the last 24 hours and then we can scroll all the way down so that's basically the home page and then here on the bottom is where we can navigate through all of these tabs. So as you can see here, we are now on the home page. We can also switch to the markets tab right here. This is where you can save some specific trading pairs that you want to keep an eye on. For example, I've saved some trading pairs like Bitcoin against dollars. So I can see exactly what the Bitcoin price is at the specific moment. Um, you can also sort them by BTC or KCS or check out the altcoins and so on. And there's the same thing for the futures market. And then when we want to trade, we actually go into the trade tab right here, where we're gonna take a deeper look into later in this Qcoin tutorial. And then there's also the futures market right here, which I personally don't really use, so I'm not gonna get in this future market here in this tutorial. Then we also have the assets tab. This is something you have to understand when you first use Qcoin. So this is where you can see all of your cryptos. And as you can see, we have different wallets. So there's the main wallet, the trading wallet, the margin wallet, the futures wallet, and so on. So when you transfer money to your Qcoin account, it normally ends up here in the main wallet. However, when you want to trade, you have to transfer funds from the main wallet into the trading wallet. So these are all the coins that, that I could trade right now. When I want to transfer it back, I simply go to transfer, and then I choose what I want to transfer. Let's say you're sort of tether, and then let's say I want to transfer it from my trading account to my main account. And then let's say I want to transfer like 100 US dollar tether. Click on confirm. And now it's transferred here into the main account. And that's also without any fee. So that's just moving coins around in, uh, in your Qcoin account. So there's no transaction fee or something like that. That's just on how you want to use these coins in your account. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. So let's now look at some important settings that you have to set up before you use this platform. So let's go to the top left on your account icon 
and then we get to all of the settings that we can check here on Qcoin. So first of all, on the top right, you can decide on if you want to have the dark theme or the light theme. So you can just switch it right here. Personally, I prefer the dark theme. I think it's a lot easier on the eyes. Then you can also verify your account. So when you click on your account icon right here, you can go through the verification process. Now you don't need to do the verification. You don't need to do KYC on Qcoin, which is very nice. So you can actually deposit cryptocurrency onto Qcoin and start trading without doing any KYC. And the limits that you have without any KYC are already pretty generous. So I used to use Qcoin without KYC for a long time and I never ran into any issues with limits. However, if you want to increase your withdrawal limits and trading limits with Qcoin, then you're going to need to do a KYC. So you're going to need to upload an identity document and also take a photo of yourself with your document. And another thing that they have recently introduced is the possibility to deposit fiat currency onto Qcoin. And in order to do that, you also need to do the KYC. So you also need to verify your account if you want to deposit fiat currency directly into your Qcoin account. Then let's move on down here. So there's the history, there's the trading fee level. So the more you trade, the higher a trading fee level you'll be, which means the more you trade, the less fees you're going to have to pay for each trade. And however, because you've used my referral code, you're already saving 20% on your fees. And then you can also uh, additionally save another 20% if you use the native token of Qcoin to pay for your trading fees. So uh, when you go ahead and buy some KCS, which is the native token of Qcoin, then you can go into here and turn this flip on and then you save another 20% on your trading fees, which is something that I would recommend. Simply buy like $50 worth of um, KCS, just leave them in your trading account and then turn on this feature right here and then you'll save another 20% on your trading fees. All right, let's go into security right now. So here the login password you've already set. The next thing you need to do is set your trading password because whenever we want to trade on Qcoin or we want to withdraw money from our account, then we need to type in our trading password. This is just another layer of security. So simply uh, set this here. Then you can also type in your phone number, which is required for a couple of features here on Qcoin. Then what I would also highly recommend is to set up two-factor authentication using an app, like using Google Authenticator or using Authy. So you can do that right here. Personally, I prefer to use Authy. And uh, that's just another layer of security, again, that you need to type in whenever you log into your account, whenever you want to withdraw funds from your account and so on. And then as you can see, you can also set up some payment methods right here. However, this is not something uh, that you can use to deposit or withdraw money directly with Qcoin. And this is for the peer-to-peer -peer market here on Qcoin, meaning that um, you can sell your coins to another Qcoin user and then this person will basically wire you the money to your bank account or you can also buy cryptocurrency and then send them the money via PayPal or a bank account or whatever. However, I usually don't use this because the prices are very unfavorable. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the settings here. Let's click on settings. And here's also where you can change your language, your currency, and everything else I think looks already fine.